You have to be a pretty brave and ambitious person to be a professional diver. You never really know what you're going to find down there besides sand, dirt, and a few dozen sharks. Today we're honoring the work of these brave souls as well as Sebastian the Crab. We're going under the sea. From an ancient Egyptian city to an underwater river, let's take a look at 15 shocking discoveries made by deep sea divers. <sighs> Number 15. Heracleon. Indiana Jones did quite a bit of good for our planet, when you really think about it. He reminded the world how important museums were. He went in search of lost cultural artifacts that could change our understanding of history. And he punched the Nazis in the face. We're focusing mostly on the history part of things today, but I really just wanted to point out how cool he is. Centuries ago, there stood an incredible Egyptian city named Heracleon. In its day, the city was one of the most important in the world. Egypt's main port for international trade and collection of taxes. That was the legend anyway. Throughout the 20th century and earlier, nobody could actually find this legendary city. Then in 2000, a French archaeologist looking for warships happened to stumble upon the submerged ruins, 150 feet off the coast of Alexandria. The discovery was unexpected, shocking, and confirmed once and for all that Egyptian legends can indeed be true. The ruins of Heracleon, something that no self-respecting Egyptologist or archaeologist ever could have expected to find. For all they knew, the thing never existed in the first place. So these findings turned out to be true game changers, and all it required was a quick dive in the ocean. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. It's time for the rare topic. And what a rare topic it is. A diver off the coast of Australia was exploring the oceans when he found what he believed was a pile of bizarrely giant bones. But what he found was even more bizarre. It turns out that it wasn't a pile of bones at all. It was a statue, a statue dedicated to the character Nautilus from the League of Legends game, created and placed there by fans. What do you guys think about that? Would did you have mistaken it for something else, or did you see right away that it was the legendary Nautilus? As always, comment down below with the hashtag RareTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just saw. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. The Underwater River if you are to believe the explorers of the world, the true place to go looking for treasure is the Yucatan Peninsula. It's here that divers have found all manner of surprising gems, like Mayan artifacts, ancient human sacrifices, and even an underwater river. It's that underwater river which is obviously the most shocking find of all, because honestly how the heck do you have a river under water? Well, a group of amateur cave explorers found just that while exploring the Cenote Angelita, a sinkhole. Here's how it works. When limestone bedrock collapses, it forms something of a pit on the ocean floor. That pit will then fill with fresh groundwater and salt water, and eventually organic matter. The organic matter will decompose, producing a cloud of hydrogen sulfide that separates the fresh water from the salt water, giving the impression of a river. It's all an optical illusion. We have no reason to believe that Penn and Teller are involved in this genius scam, but this is clearly just another brilliant trick by Mother Nature. Unless it isn't, and the science is just so confusing that humans are totally misguided, in which case, eh, who cares, we're not that smart anyway. Number 13. Submerged Treasure 
Having watched the Indiana Jones movies, finding treasure at the bottom of the ocean just doesn't seem that shocking. It seems hidden ancient treasure is all over the place, but these archaeological findings were a group of archaeological divers were exploring the area around the pyramids in Sudan, Africa. What they found was a collection of artifacts and gold leaf in a 2,300-year-old submerged tomb. And not any old tomb, it belonged to a pharaoh named Nastasen, who ruled the Kush kingdom between 335 and 315 BC. Pretty cushy find, I think. According to the experts who found the items, they're worth hundreds of millions of dollars. But again, they were the team who actually found the items, so we should probably not take their word on their value. Just, you know, to be sure. Regardless of their trustworthiness, this is a pretty shocking find. I mean, you'd think that all of the areas in and around the pyramids would have been explored by now. But hey, that's why I'm a voiceover guy and not a badass Indiana Jones-style archaeologist. Well, for now, anyway. I have time. Number 12. Shipwreck of San Jose if there's one thing that divers seem naturally gifted at finding, it's shipwrecks. I don't know what it is, but they're able to sniff out a shipwreck from a mile away. And San Jose was a 64-gun, three-masted galleon of the Spanish Navy. And it was found by divers, specifically divers working on behalf of the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. So not just Tom who dives for a hobby. Originally launched in 1698, the San Jose they would travel all around the oceans with a huge amount of jewels on board, but its luck came to an end in 1708. While laden with gold, silver, and emeralds, the ship found itself in a brutal battle off the coast of Cartagena, Colombia. For the first time, the San Jose did not win the battle, and the ship went down. In today's money, the ship had about 17 billion worth of treasure on board. That's painful to even say. In 2015, the WHOI located the sunken ship and began recovering the onboard treasure. It's been said that the ship is now estimated as being worth about $14.43 billion. I'm not sure if anybody's ever planned a heist on a sunken ship, but if you're calling yourself the holy grail of shipwrecks, you better be prepared. Number 11, World War II Pilot. Decades ago, during the height of World War II, there were an unthinkable amount of US pilots shot down over the Pacific. Many of them have never been discovered due to sand and sea life covering the wreckage and hiding it from view. But divers find a way, man. In 2018, members of the US Armed Forces ventured to the bottom of the Pacific Ocean to find the remains of a US pilot who had been shot down during World War II. After orchestrating a strategy and coordination effort, the soldiers managed to find the pilot's remains and his plane near Girica Basong Island in the Republic of Palau. The forces confirmed that the aircraft had been totally untouched for 74 years, but declined to reveal the pilot's identity they managed to recover. However, it's believed that the pilot's family and next of kin have been informed of the news. This is a bittersweet story. Obviously, it's incredible that the soldiers were able to locate and recover the pilot's remains as they have, but it's also a pretty tragic thought to know that the pilot lost his life and was undiscovered for such a long time. Number 10. Yonaguni Monument Japanese culture is pretty much entirely built on the notion of tradition and legacy. Everything rests on what came before, the people that lived long before you. And apparently even their oceans like to get in on that kind of belief system. In 1986, a group of divers headed to Yonaguni Island, planning to get a closer look at the hammerhead sharks that linger in the nearby waters. What they found was altogether more confusing and inexplicable, an underwater rock pyramid. It was too carefully constructed to be an accident, but there were no credible explanations for who could have done it, or why, or how. Located 82 feet below the surface, it seems all but impossible that some human would be able to construct it here. But hey, those are questions for the Yonaguni Tourism Board to answer, not me. The waters of Yonaguni Island are open to anybody, so you can go and take a look for yourself if you're interested in solving the mystery. But unless you're good at time, 
talking to rocks, I wouldn't expect any answers. You'll probably have a fun time, though. I hear rocks make great listeners. Number 9. The Orta Cave what is it about caves that make people want to go diving inside? Is it the mystery, the risk, the smell of damp? Who the hell knows, but there's clearly something that is too good to pass up. In the case of Russia's Horta Cave, there are several reasons. The biggest one is simply the legend. According to locals, the Orta Cave is home to the Lady of the Orta Cave, a woman said to have lived within it for generations. So I think it stands to reason that many divers have tracked all this way in the hopes of seeing a sinister and slightly weird sounding woman. But another reason for the cave's popularity, the water is unbelievably pure. Thanks to the mineral-rich area, divers have visibility of over 50 yards, which makes it ideal for photographic expeditions. Or maybe they're just crazy, you know, could be either of those things. Whatever the reason, the Orta Cave turned out to be a pretty good, incredible discovery. Photographers have made their living off of it, curious divers have injured themselves wandering around it, and general tourists stay the hell away from it. So when you stop to think about it, everybody wins. Wins. Number 8. Goblin Shark I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. The goblin shark may just be the most frightening animal on earth that you've never actually seen. If you were to take all of your greatest fears and your worst nightmares and mash them up into one animal, it probably wouldn't look like this, but you'd probably feel the same way about it. We should probably start by addressing the fact that the goblin shark does not look anything like a shark. It actually looks more like a prehistoric nightmare. In fact, many Japanese fishermen don't even bother to compare it to sharks, but to the ancient legendary demons. I think that says more than anything else. The goblin shark is known for having a jaw that can extend three inches out of its mouth, allowing it to catch its prey and pull it back to eat. So, you know the xenomorph from the alien movies? Yeah, this is pretty much that. Of course, even the most skilled divers probably won't ever encounter one of these things directly. The goblin shark tends to swim at depths of up to 4,300 feet, so it's highly unlikely that anybody could find one on accident. But you know, if you did, lord help you. Number 7. Moe Statue Easter Island is already one of the most mysterious places on Earth, littered with those famous and still unexplained Moe statues. But there's actually another inexplicable statue just off the coast, buried beneath the ocean surface, and nobody has any idea what it is. Despite common misconception, this 10-foot tall concrete Moe is not actually an original ancient statue. It's a modern replica, but where it came from and why it happened to be discarded off the coast of Easter Island remains a total mystery. Some claim that the statue was designed and constructed by the residents of Easter Island and planted underwater as a tourist attraction. Others claim that it's just a prop for a Kevin Cosmer movie, which doesn't really make sense since movie props are rarely made of actual concrete. So I guess the mystery remains unsolved when it comes to this weird, weird statue. That mystery, however, has turned out to be pretty goddamn good for business. The statue has become a hugely popular dive site, thanks in part to the stunningly clear waters around it. A lack of pollution on Easter Island means divers can get a pretty great view of the statue from a distance. Maybe it was just a way to show people how great the environment could be if we take care of it? Maybe. Number 6. German World War I Submarine it's actually not all that uncommon for divers to find abandoned antiques from the two world wars. However, finding a submarine with bodies inside, that is extremely uncommon and also a little creepy. That diver might need some therapy or something to cope. The German World War I submarine was found off the coast of Belgium by a diver in 2017, and it was surprisingly intact. According to the diver, the damage was pretty apparent on the front of the submarine, but it remained and closed with 23 people remaining on board. They were dead, of course. Well, we're assuming. 
It's been over a hundred years spent underwater, but I guess we can't rule out the idea of zombies. One local governor described the situation as very unique, which seems very polite and casual considering a diver just found an 88-foot submarine off the coast. Obviously, it's not going to be pleasant to find a whole bunch of dead bodies, but it's still a pretty shocking find. It's hard to know how many pieces of World War I-era technology are still lurking on the ocean floor. But I imagine there are quite a lot. Divers get to work. Number 5. Apollo 11 Engines Rich people are often described as eccentric, which is basically code for they are utterly insane. But in the case of this topic, well, they're still eccentric, but there's a purpose to this one at least. Apparently money isn't a good enough reason to just take a break. Shortly after James Cameron made his very publicized deep sea dive, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos wanted to do it himself, but he wanted to go one step further. Not only did he want to explore the oceans, but he also wanted to find and recover the engines that powered the Apollo 11 mission. And he actually did it. While exploring the waters, Bezos and his team found a whole collection of abandoned goods from the rocket that sent Armstrong and Aldrin to the moon. Unfortunately, they had no serial numbers, so there's no way of knowing if they were officially belonging to Apollo 11. But hey, Amazon can't deliver everything. Having accomplished his goal, Bezos announced that the engines would be restored and placed in a museum for anybody to see. And in 2017, that dream finally came true. I imagine Bezos is now just calling up all his millionaire friends to see if he can one-up them. Rich people, am I right? Number 4. Gulfer Eel a highlight of any trip to Hawaii is taking a nice dip in the beautiful waters, but while most of us are content to stay in the shallow depths, divers are journeying almost a mile deep. And what did they find? Weird fish. These scientists were exploring the depths in Hawaii waters when they happened to encounter this strange-looking creature. The scientists were as confused by it as you probably are. They were fascinated by the animal's face, its pouch-like mouth, and its unique way of moving. But then came the biggest twist of all, as this giant fish revealed itself to be nowhere near as big as it appeared. Seemingly out of nowhere, the fish reduced itself down to its regular size, revealing it to be a grouper eel capable of puffing itself up to an impressive size. Nature, it's all pretty weird. Usually scientists are so composed and knowledgeable that we don't get to see them excited or surprised, so this is pretty fun. The grouper eel is definitely one of the weirder fish in our oceans, and it seems even the world's foremost experts on marine biology agree. It's weird, but awesome. Number 3. Underwater Anaconda they're the largest species of snake in the world, but is the anaconda as dangerous as we all think it is? According to this guy, the answer is a resounding no. But that's probably only because he managed to befriend one entirely by accident. If we tried this, snake food. Brazilian scuba diver Bartolomeo Bove was diving with his buddy in the Formoso River of central Brazil when they encountered this huge 23-foot-long anaconda. You heard right, my friends, 23 feet. They estimated its weight to be around 200 pounds. I would like to stress the word estimated there because who the hell is going to be able to actually weigh this thing? Bove used the opportunity to show the world just how gentle and harmless the anaconda can be. Even though this snake is one of the largest and most terrifying creatures in the world, it didn't try and harm the divers once. Of course, many people watching this video will point out that this is more of a shock for the snake than the humans. He was just having a good time and suddenly he has some weird looking creatures trying to snap paparazzi photos. Really playing with fire here, humans. Number 2. Lion City When people think about submerged underwater cities, the brain naturally leaps to Atlantis, but it turns out there are many more sunken cities than we even know about, including the fabled Lion City in China. 
It's no Atlantis, but it's still pretty impressive. In China's Zhejiang province, far beneath the Qiando Lake, lies the abandoned Lion City, also known as Xichang. Today, the city is an impressive set of ruins and a popular destination for divers looking to get a closer look at a surprisingly intact sunken city. The statues, carvings, and wall decorations are all pretty much untouched. In fact, if you were to put any of this on dry land, many people could easily be fooled into thinking they were installed yesterday. Actually, maybe this is Atlantis. Nobody would know the difference anyway. Maybe I could get away with that. What makes Lion City such a compelling and unusual mystery is the fact that nobody has any idea what exactly happened here. There are so many questions left unanswered and stories to be told and we'll never fully understand it. But for those divers who get to explore it up close, it's pretty fantastic. Number 1. Giant Barrel Jellyfish If I told you that I found a giant barrel jellyfish, where would you think I found it? Don't say in the ocean, that doesn't count. Whatever you said, I'm guessing it wouldn't be off the coast of England, but yeah, it was off the coast of England, and I didn't find it, but you already knew that. Against all the odds, biologist Lizzie Dolly and her crew managed to find this off the coast of Cornwall. Dolly said it was about as big as her body, making it the largest jellyfish species in British waters. By comparison, the average jellyfish is about 16 inches, and don't worry about any risk of death, my friends. It turns out that the sting of the giant barrel jellyfish is harmless. Although, just for the record, we do not advise that you go and try to grab hold of it, even for a test. It's pretty unlikely that the English will turn giant jellyfish diving into a sport anytime soon, but hey, anything is possible. I mean, diving into freezing cold water to find a giant animal that could sting you, but not kill you? What a great British day out! Have you ever made a shocking underwater discovery? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.